Hey guys, welcome to another Tuesday evening drive. And um, I wanted to just start out letting you guys... I want to tell you a story. Okay, before I tell you the story, I'm going to tell you what's kind of going on lately. I was t telling Schism about it last night. Um, okay, I'm at work last Friday, and my boss calls and tells me, hey, you know, I got some news for you. You're probably not going to like it. Going to have to have you go to this other office on Mondays and Wednesdays. And this other office is over an hour away from where I live. So... I already wake up at around 6 o'clock on Mondays and Wednesdays to get to work. And that's early for me. Like, I'm not a morning person. I'm a night person. When the night gets going, that's to have energy. Because I'm doing the fun things. But the tough thing for the morning for me is, okay, it's morning time. Time to go to work and do a lot of hard stuff. <laughs> but... You know, I still get up, but it's just hard. But now, I gotta wake up at, you know, 5, 5.30. What are you gonna do? <laughs> so, anyway, someone in this office left the company, went to another one out of state, and they're just slammed. They need someone else there, so they need me to come out two days a week. So I'm like, you know, I'll do it. And, you know, it's not ideal. But I'm willing to, to help out the company and help out that office. And they said it's just temporary. And I get paid for mileage out there. So that's nice. At least I'm not draining, uh, draining the gas in my wallet with all the miles. So I was like, well, okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. And it's temporary. We don't know how long. Could be... A short period of time could be a long period of time. It's tough though, because I've seen this happen in other offices, and it is a long time. <laughs> Hopefully, that's not the case. But anyway, yesterday, first day out there, and it is, it it is just on the border of Michigan and Canada. So I'm driving. I'm using my GPS using my turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions, thanks to Siri. And, you know, I'm getting closer to my exit, and it says, okay, turn left on this here exit. And I'm about to turn, and the exit's blocked off. And it's blocked off. There are cones. There are... There are... big cement slabs blocking the road on this exit and I'm like okay not going there and so you know I'm supposed to be there at 8 and I'm going to be there a little early so it says I'm supposed to be there about 728 so I was like well that'd be good I'll meet everyone they'll show me the office and everything so I passed that exit and it says rerouting new estimated time of arrival 844 that's like an hour and 15 minutes after what it originally said. And I was like, oh no. And I look up and I am at the tolls to go to Canada. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm going to Canada. So, so I go, pull up to the thing and I'm like, this, does this go to Canada? She said, yeah. I said, I don't want to go to Canada. So I said, I'm just trying to go to work. <laughs> I'm trying to go to, you know, this, this street. And she said, oh, no, that exit, that exit's closed. I don't, they'll never open that one again. And I'm like, okay. So she gave me this card. It says, you know, you have permission to turn around and come back into the States. Just have your ID ready, something like that. So I had to drive up there and almost do a U-turn and come back around back into the United States and give them my ID and that card and everything. And so 
I'm back on the road, and I'm looking for the place, and I can't find it. Because on my phone, I put in the address, and the number isn't there, it's just giving me directions to the street. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, where you put in an address, and it just tells you, you know, the street, and it says, hey, you're at your destination. So. I'm looking around, I know the general area, and I just can't find the place. So, don't open till 8, and the phones don't turn on till 8, so I had to wait till then and call them to ask uh, how to get there. So, I couldn't be early, and I showed up like two minutes late, but they didn't care, it was my first time out there, and I had just crossed the border, so, <laughs> it was crazy. It was uh, not what I expected my first day out there, but, you know, it's tough because i got to wake up earlier, i got to go to sleep a little earlier, Sunday nights and Tuesday nights, and then I get home about a half hour later on Monday nights and Wednesday nights, so it's less time to hang out at the house, less time to play games and make videos, but make it work, got this. And it's temporary. Who knows how long. But we'll see. Um, but guys, let's get to the questions. This week, I don't know what happened. We got, well, it's probably because I put it out late. I, uh, I just remembered, it was like 4 o'clock and I get out at 5. I just remembered to put out the questions to see uh, what you guys want me to talk about. And we had three questions, two of which... Um, makes sense. One of which, what are you kidding me? Sigils, what's the deal with that kind of question? Asking me about economics? <laughs> Sigils plays, he's a member of the Qualicraft server. He said, What are the pros and cons of a Keynesian model in a post 9 11 era? I see that question, I'm like, This is like a Biffa question. Biffa likes to ask the tough questions. Like, this is some news political show. Hey, I'm just a guy talking in a car, talking at a cell phone at a bunch of people. This is not a political show. This is a Joe show. <laughs> no, but valid question. Pros and cons. Keynesian model. Eh. I didn't, I never heard that word before. I'm not a, I'm not an economics kind of guy. Um, so, I looked it up, and it spelled, when I, when I pronounced it, it looked like it was spelled Keynesian. And I looked at the pronunciation, and it said Kane, Keynesian. And I said, something's not right here. So, whatever. Apparently you pronounce it Keynesian. And I just glanced over the ideas. Something about supply and demand. Something about crazy. Uh, oh man, there was a word in there. There's a really funny word in there that I wanted to share with you guys, but I forgot it. <laughs> um, but anyway. Pros is good, cons it's bad. <laughs> uh, so, hope that answers your question. The next question was from Drusen of the 43, who wants to know if I am familiar with Lindsey Sterling and if, and if I'm a fan. Yes, I know Lindsey. I don't know her. I know of her. I've seen her videos. And, um, uh, yeah, she's like a violinist. The The video I saw of her, she was playing violin in something like Winter Wonderland. And it was like violin dubstep or something. And it was sweet. It was pretty good music. So, I guess you could say I'm a fan. All I really know is that one song. I don't really know or have listened to many of her other songs. But she pretty cool. She cool. Then we got the Clever, Clever Creeper. Clever Creeper. The Clever Creeper, the Clever Creeper, also a Koala Graph member, if I'm not mistaken, wants me to talk about 
why bananas are so delicious? I don't know. They're just good. I think it's just because they're natural. Natural things are just great. They're just designed to be implemented into our bodies. So, bananas are great. I, I try to have a banana every day. The thing is, though, I only go to the grocery store like once. Once a week at the most. I'll go maybe once every two weeks. And so I'll get some bananas, but I can only get like five at a time. Because if you keep them, you know, more than five, six days, they get, they get too ripe. And then they're mushy. So, you know, I got, got enough to last me for about five days. And then the rest of the days I'm not at the grocery store. I can't get the bananas. But I, it's just a nice little thing to add for your long, uh, breakfast. Or if I don't have time to eat with breakfast, I'll do a little snack after work. It's very nice. Bananas are really good. But, um, yeah, that's it. We had three questions. I normally take five. And, you know, I was a little late getting it out, so that's probably why we didn't get all five. But uh, a little shorter video, give you guys more time to do your thing. I know a lot of people who watch do their own Let's Plays, have other videos to watch. I think another Ultra Hardcore video is coming out today. Uh, maybe that's tomorrow. Anyway, loving the Ultra Hardcore. So get watching that. But anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the drive. It's very beautiful weather out. And I don't know if you can tell growing the hair out a little so I think it's just blending in with the background maybe this will open things up nope still can't see probably blending in with the background but yeah but anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later